32. So 9 squared take away 36 divided by 9. Okay, so using bid mass, always do this right bid mass here for these type problems. Because we have no brackets, we can exclude it. We have an indice which is here. So 9 squared is means 9 times 9, which is 81. Now division and multiplication, we have it here. 36 divided by 9 goes exactly 4. So it's 81 minus 4, which is 77. <laughs> nice. Now, 1, 1 half times 40. All right, let's do this. So 1, 1 half. First things first, change it to an improper fraction. So 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So 3 over 2 times 40. Now, just times across. So 3 times 40 is 120 over 2, divided by the bottom. Half of this is 60. Easy. Very easy money. Number 34. 20, again, another percentage. 28% of 650. Find 10% first of 650, which is 65. Then let's think about it. So, we should, we need, what we could do is find 20% and find 8%. So, find 1%, you just divide it by. Actually, you don't even need to do that. We can be clever about this, yeah? If you want to find, let's find 2% times it by 4. If you find 2%, Literally divide this by five, which is easier to do, by the way. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Ignore. Forget what I'm saying. Let's let's keep. Let's not get com make it confusing. Let's find one percent because it's always easy. This is going to be six point five because you divide by ten. That means two percent is going to be double this, which is thirteen. To find eight percent, times it by four. F thirteen times four is fifty-two. And to get twenty percent which is over here, double the 65, which is 130. And therefore, 28% would be this figure here plus this figure here. 130 plus 52 is 182, guys. If you got this, give yourself a pat in the back. That's good. Oh, all right. We're almost done. <laughs> here comes the finale. So I always knew that these ones are always, God, look at that. Awful. But I think we got this. We can do our best here, guys, yeah? I mean, 97 times tables. <laughs> Come on, easy. Okay, let's do 35 first. So we've got 4 2 thirds minus 1 6 7. Okay, this looks really, really scary, but it's not. Do what we always do, yeah? Let's convert these firstly into improper, into improper fractions, yeah? So the first one, 4 and 2 thirds times 4 by 3, which is 12. Add to it will give you 14 over 3. Do the same here, 1 times 7 is 7, plus 6 is 13 over 7. Alright, now it does look quite bad. So the trick here is to, because, we, because we're not sure what 3 and 7 go into, or the, the multiples of them, or we maybe already know, I would just multiply the left side by 7 because it has a 7 already. Multiply the right side by 3 because that's 3, and this means it will be over for them. Okay, because we know 3 times 7 is 21. So let's go ahead. So now we've got 7 times 14. Okay, 7 times 14. So what I would do, put over here for a second. 10 times 7 is 70. 4 times 7 is 28. So that's 98. 13 times 3. Okay, it's not that bad. 10 times 3 is 30. 3 times 3 is 9, so 39. Now you just subtract them. 98 take away 39. Let's do it over here. Yep. There is a faster way, but... Oh, God, I should have done it first time. 8 take away 9 you can't do, borrow the 9 becomes an 8, carry the 1, 18 take away 9 is 9, 8 take away 3 is 5, so it's 59 over 21. I don't think we can simplify that further, can we? Nah, probably not. If you guys find a faster way than this, let me know in the comments for question 35 guys, yeah? I'm, I'm counting on you, so definitely back me up because this can help you, if you can help me find faster ways as well, then I can always produce even better ones for next time. Okay, anyway, here comes the finale, guys. Number 36. So let's wrap this up quick time, yeah. So 97 into this. So go ahead, you can you can put your 97 times tables. The way I look at it, you're just adding 100 minus 3. So add another 100 minus 3, so you get 197 minus 3 is 194. Add another 100, so it looks like that. Minus 3, that becomes 291. Hold on. <coughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. anyway, leave it like that for a second. And we, this is just our times table, so this will be the first, second, third. Now, let's check this out. So 97 into 882, because we know we can't go to 8 or 88. Oh, God. So that's a big number. So we know that 882 is very close to, firstly, 
probably 10 times table because 97 times 10 <coughs> oh man sorry about that is 970 so 970 is literally 97 times 10 let's go ahead and find what 97 times 9 is yeah oh, 97 sorry i got a little flu here so we'll just subtract 97 from this so subtract 70 you get 900 and then subtract 27 more you should get 800 and uh god how can i be so slow it's 73 Yep, and it fits. 873 is just smaller than this number, so it fits exactly 9 times, okay? Perfect. Gosh, I've got all that space I put there. So it fits 9 times. Now, finding the remainder, subtracting all of this, 82 take away 73 should give us 9. Drop the 7, <laughs> 97. So 97 to 97 is once. That's it, guys. All done. 91. Bravo. You could have done it all the way, but then just look at this figure, it's massive. And you know deep down it's a big number so the only logical sense would have it would have to be nine so always do try no try and guesstimate it yeah times it by 10 because it's the closest value or nine which is actually the closest value and just just hope for the best anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video give me a like otherwise see you next time